Well, it's the end of the road for ambitious plans to build a permanent racing track here. The Singapore Sports Council confirms it will be handing a site meant for the Changi Motorsports Hub back to the Singapore Land Authority. The move follows the conclusion of an extensive international and local request for information exercise. But the council was unable to proceed with the retender as it could not accede to certain conditions from potential investors. And these include requests for flexibility of lease terms and land use as well as tax concessions. Balancing costs and benefits was important for the council, thus not justifying significant government subsidies or concessions. It certainly was a difficult decision. We know that there was a certain level of anticipation uh, from the motorsports community. Uh, however, I have to emphasize that the, the context by which this project was first conceived has not changed. And that is the, the project has to be commercially viable and it does require interested private uh, uh, entities to, to uh, carry the project if it is to succeed. Seven proposals from six consortia were received, all from Asia, with the exception of one European bid. The council admits that the upcoming track in neighboring Iskandar Johor had impacted the potential bidders, who had to redo their sums. But that also presents an opportunity to develop the Singapore motorsports industry. If you look at the, the sort of synergies that exist between Singapore and Iskandar, I think the motorsports enthusiasts can look forward to the kind of synergies that we hope to derive given our current conditions and given our constraints. How do we turn these into strengths? In 2010, SG Changi won the bid to build the original Changi Motorsports Hub on the 41-hectare site. But a year later, that contract was terminated after the company ran into financial troubles. For now, the Singapore Sports Council will remove the piles from the site and hand it back to the authorities for alternative users. Now, that might take about a year and that is why it's working with other agencies on the possible interim use of the land, among them cutting for the community.